When this was decided, we explored three possibilities. Mm -hmm. Section 12, the constitutional provision, and there's another provision in the Crime yes. Control Act that deals with antisocial behavior. Mm -hmm. And uh, we look at the option that we believe will give us the desired effect that we want. And I'm sure, my friend Kevin is a good attorney, you know. Mm -hmm. so if we had gone under Section 12 of the Crime Control and Criminal Justice Act, mm -hmm. it says that the action must be so approved by the Crime Control Council. There is no Crime Control Council. No. So, we cannot go under that. Because the first thing they would have said <laughs> when they take the matter to court, but, my lad, the law is saying that it must be so approved by the Crime Control Council. Where is the Crime Control Council that approves this when there is none? And we'll be right back to square one. Easy win for them. Mm -hmm. Right? So let us be real, Kevin. Where a legislation or a statute imposes certain criteria for something to be done, those criteria should not be usurped or abrogated in order to achieve the end results. When it comes to the constitutional provision, yes. we also wanted to be able to achieve where we can keep those persons who are creating havoc in custody for a period of time. Section 12 do not give us that. Is this too heavy an approach? I maintain it is not. It's not too heavy of an approach. Sometimes, as a society, we have to do things in a certain way to be able to have the masses enjoy mm -hmm. the freedom that our constitution has given us. We cannot continue to allow a handful of people to hold a whole country hostage. Mm -hmm. Something must be done. And I challenge all of those persons, including yourself, who believe that we could have chosen other routes to present them on the table, other than Section 12. Because Section 12, you and I know, would not be able to work. That's, we have a difference of opinion in that.